It is truly my pleasure to speak with you briefly about a few of our strategies at Paint Branch High School. As you know, uh, we're a diverse school that has been identified as highly impacted based on poverty, student groups, and student performance. While our classrooms are filled with many great students who care about their learning and their future, like all schools, our students are in need of support and guidance. So our approach has been a multi-layered one. We began with education and goal setting and have focused our efforts and resources on communication, instruction, data analysis, support relationships, and resources. So we started with um, learning from our district about what it meant to be college and career ready. Um, and then we shared this information with staff and the various pathways that students could use to achieve this status. Um, we spoke about the importance, particularly for our students, of having multiple pathways and um, being able to walk out into the world beyond Paint Branch High School as um, being validated as having mastered a requisite set of skills in literacy and mathematics as determined by multiple measures. Um, we particularly enjoy that the classroom um, and the district and external assessments are all a part of the formula for every student. Uh, we were very open and honest about our data and sought a collective effort from all staff members um, across all disciplines. So we have two um, dynamic senior and junior grade level administrators who scrubbed all the data from all of the sources for our students. There was a big, huge um, yellow chart in their office that had every student's name and all of their data displayed with all of the pathways. Our next step was to inform students um, specifically about their level of progress beyond the general letters, the presentations, and et cetera that they received. Every upperclassman received their individualized progress report and it identified their next steps. And if they were already college ready, it was a moment to celebrate. Um, we began in the classroom. Teachers responsible for first instruction work together in PLCs to create engaging lessons, analyze student work products across classes, and make instructional changes based on student performance in real time. Um, PLCs worked very hard to identify skills that needed reinforcement, and we used our built-in time to provide as much support as possible. We also identified a literacy coach and a mathematics coach who were tasked with supporting students who were in need of remediation and acceleration in order to become college ready. Our coaches work with students individually and in small groups in English and math. They were available for students in the morning, during lunch, and after school. They used um, different programs like Khan Academy to administer a diagnostic and focus their instruction on specific areas of opportunity. Beyond the classroom, uh, technology and coaches, we also purchased additional text resources for our students. In early spring, College and Career Ready was a major buzz in our community amongst the students, staff, and parents. Our kids wanted to meet the goals as soon as possible, and administration met with them um, to set, set goals, motivate them, and uh, make sure that they were clear on our expectations for practice time and growth. Um, the students worked home. I'm sorry, they worked hard and they also worked at home uh, to practice. I would be remiss if I didn't describe the individual meetings and the cheering um, that administrators held with students to review their data, identify their specific goals, discuss the expectations and their uh, support plan to connect them with adults. Students knew exactly what was expected of them and rose to the occasion. We still have a bit of heavy lifting to do and are never ever satisfied. Um, with even a statistically insignificant decline like we had in math, um, even though there was a great increase in literacy. But we have truly embraced our student challenges and worked diligently, particularly in math, with our entire class, uh, cluster of principals and math teacher leaders uh, to fill in gaps and build bridges for our students. So we're anticipating seeing those changes and gains um, through the upcoming years for our students. Um, we're staying the course with our facets of monitoring, analysis, instruction and support and we know um, that while all of these things have happened in the upper level grades for the students where they're the individualized plan the foundation is really built in the beginning um, all of the first instruction that students receive as soon as they walk into the building across the building the different type of assessments our collaborative professional learning communities and our um, support program for students namely avid aces and transitions that teach our students how to become strong students um, who can demonstrate their learning in a variety of ways. Uh, those are the things that lay the groundwork for college and career readiness as well as strong citizenship in our global community. Thank you. Thank you.